All right, welcome back to the Built to Grow podcast. I'm your host, Tim Lyons, back in the saddle after a great event, the Grow Summit, joined by Randy Angston. What's up, buddy? How we doing? Great. Uh, still on a, on, a, on a high from the event. Uh, we're actually not going to use this episode, this one, to recap it because we got some other stuff to talk about. Uh, we want to gather our thoughts uh, around doing a really proper uh, you know, recap mm -hmm. of the event. But all in all, amazing, amazing event. Best one we've done. Hands Com down. Comment after comment of you know, being grateful, of being able to be in the room, the lineup, the, the, you know, all the good stuff. So we appreciate you guys as well. Um, and in that thread, in that note here, we do want to make sure that you know that we have recorded the sessions and we are putting those up. You can purchase those recordings if you weren't able to make it, or if you were there and you want to review the content that was delivered, the link is in the show notes get them right now and you can actually i think we got the last years as well on yeah that too. yeah you have the option of grabbing all of the recordings we've had from uh three I years was, yeah 21 22 and this cool. year so fantastic absolute a lot of growth in there amazing growth and uh you know i think one of the biggest <clears throat> things that i heard this is you know when when we we're on stage talking about you know we were just throwing the, the microphone around yep um one of the coolest things I heard was a was a gym owner out of Kansas, Cody. Cody, you know him. He um, he's like, I have not. I've just been following your podcast, and we've been doing the things that you've said to do or mentioned. Yeah. And he went from like two hundred fifty thousand, and he's on track for eight hundred, eight hundred thirty ish thousand or something along those lines. And and everybody just kind of stopped and stared <laughs> at him like. Well, really, what? Just no big deal. Just in a year, our boy, our boy Tommy. You know, boy, and whom both of those gentlemen have continued to have now decided to work a little closer with us, right? Yep. But uh, Tommy, same situation. He kicked his doors open in March, and he's doubled his revenue, monthly recurring revenue, every single month, built on the model that he's heard right here from this show. Yeah, it's amazing, so. guys. So, I guess really the the takeaway of that comment is like, listen, guys, there's plenty of content here. There's it's just you know there, there's no lack of information. It's all about action. Go listen, grab the nuggets, and go go on and, and run with it. Yeah, and that's that's exactly it. I mean, Tim and I are sitting in the seat giving you guys the things that we know are working today for businesses. The onus is on you to go do it. And so mm -hmm. grab and go, and hell, man, those results are are yeah. uh, astonishing. So Exactly. All right, so this episode, y'all, we're going to talk about the breakup, the breakup with your clients. You know, we're talking gym owner, I mean, gym clients coming in and getting to work out and um, maybe not getting what they wanted from you. And how do you leave that relationship? How yeah. do you leave the door open? Um, there's also times where you don't want to leave the door open. You want to shut that door on that client and never see him again. So, um, again, full recap later on the Grow Summit, but one of the, the takeaways from Mike Michalowicz was you've got, you've got good, better, best clients. You've yeah. got good, better, best products. And, and then, you know, depending on your, your worst clients buying your worst products and he calls that poison, right? Yep. Like you got, you're going to have a handful of clients that are tough to work with and they're buying your least profitable products anyway. It's okay to break up with those folks. And he said, uh, that has to happen immediately. Mm -hmm. The funny thing I said is like, send them over to your <laughs> your, your, your competitors, uh, Jim. And they'll be over there like, oh my gosh, we're getting all this great clients. And uh, and you're like, in your back of your head, oh no, you're not, you're, you're, <laughs> you're swallowing the poison. Yeah, you're passing along your problem. Uh, but I think that's a good audit to do every so often. We've done that. We, we did it with A, B, C and clients, yeah. you know, like our A clients and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, there comes a point in time where, you know, a client may come to you, you've done everything you've asked of them, and uh, they just aren't getting the results you're looking for, they were looking for. Yeah. Um, and how you approach that is going to make all the difference in the world because two things can happen. One, they can leave with a bad taste in the mouth or they can leave thinking you're a, a hero. Yeah. So how do we do that? Yeah, and there's, you know, there's perceived value and there's true value. I mean, the way that you leave somebody feeling is, is wildly important, right? We could sit here and talk about the facts and things like that, but the, when it comes to relationships, emotions, are, those are big, right? And uh, it doesn't take much to hurt a feeling and lose the relationship or burn the logical you know, movement forward. And so maintaining your integrity, having the client's best interest at heart yeah. and allowing that to kind of lead that charge, even if it's not with you potentially. And again, you gotta, you have to assess why, right? Did you fail to perform on what you, you know, promised to your consumer? Uh, did they have, 
some expectations that were wildly different than what you guys, you know, tried to align, maybe they didn't show up. I mean, there's a million different variables, right? And but taking ownership to that and the and maintaining the relationship after maybe the business relationship has failed is 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 crucial. One of the things that really stands out uh, in that conversation for me lately is we are massively, I mean, like your lists in business are wildly important to us, right? Your communication to both current clients, uh, new uh, business coming into your door or into your uh, ecosystem. But quite often, we don't even think about the value that sits in the past client list. Uh, reactivation campaigns, uh, win back campaigns. I mean, there's a million different things that you could do to just that list alone. Mm -hmm. But if you've burned those relationships, if you've tarnished those relationships, you, you're not going to be able to pull any value back out of that list. If I left a, a situation, a business arrangement, and the business I was working with did their best to maintain my, like my what I was yep. looking for, even mm -hmm. if it wasn't with them, I'm going to hold them in high regard. Um, to your right. point, right? They got two choices. They're going to either bash your business or they're going to be, you know, t speaking your praises, even in the absence of your ability to help. Yeah. That's the seat I want to be sitting in. I want them telling other people backhanded referrals by what, you know, by proxy, right? They weren't able to serve me in this realm, but working with them was phenomenal. They communicated really well. Even after I left, they, they showed that they cared and they tried to take care of me. And that is all we can ask for as a consumer. Not every relationship is going to work out. Exactly. But when you do make that breakup, how do you go about that is going to matter for your future of both that relationship and the business in general. So I think, I, I think a good tell here is if you've ever had somebody leave your business on good terms, they're no longer paying you, and maybe it's a month, maybe it's a year down the road, and they send you referrals, that is the tell that you did your job right. In fact, I'm, I'm thinking of one right now. There was a client that... Uh, uh, you know, she, she, she moved on, I th you know, I think it was a job thing. So sure. maybe, maybe it wasn't uh yeah. Well, she just sent two referrals as not a, as a non-member. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It was just really cool. And I think she was doing it. I think she referred him on her way out. Like, Oh, I think it was just, just happened to work out that way or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, but that is the tell, right? If somebody's no longer with you and not paying you, and then they're sending you clients still, Awesome. I can tell you there's several of our Iron Circle members that have, you know, they've, they're, they haven't they have renewed or whatever. They're sending us clients are still. Absolutely. They're like, yeah. it just wasn't a good thing for them today. And, and they're all wanting to get back in now. So it's interesting. So, um, you know, it's how you leave somebody. It, and I think you nailed it when you said, if is it in the client's best interest? Always put the filter on of that. Put and yourself that, in their shoes. Yeah. Or you're like, Act as if there was your mom and how you would treat them or how somebody you'd want to treat them. And that should solve the problem. It, re it really yeah. does. I mean, it, make, it makes the, the way that you operate in those situations cl clear and under, like, you know what to do. You don't have to go, okay, you don't want to nickel and dime this situation. Like, I care about their, and that's the problem. I think it's a scarcity versus abundance, ultimately, mm -hmm. right? If you're, if you're so afraid of losing that one client, and essentially it's the revenue the revenue of the client, you know the yeah. revenue that client brings in if that's where your kind of focus sits and maintains itself you, that's where you kind of start to do things that i don't think your integrity might align with or that you you know if it was your mother you might not have those conversations the same way and that is a difficult aspect for a business owner right you're not doing it despite that revenue you just have to understand that the conversation is more than just a couple of dollars and cents you will benefit far greater in the long run by not worrying about them that that one particular dues or giving that person that one refund because one what, what's the stat say one negative review that one person's unhappy is going to tell 10 people but but one you know a person that's happy might not tell anybody yeah it, it's yeah the, it's the way it is they want to be heard they want to voice their negativity and they will make sure that all, everybody around them knows that how, how you screwed them over so, yeah. so just don't. Well, and, and to speak to that, you know, in the breakup, when it does have to happen, maybe maybe it is your choice to to move this client forward and, and suggest they go somewhere else. We, we all have some of those, that bad blood, like you were talking about, right? Like the, the clients you want to move out of your business because they just don't fit the culture or whatnot. Have somewhere to go. Give them their next option for fitness, right? Yep. You know what that client asked you, what they were looking for, the expectations they came in with when, when you sat down and had that consultation. Go mm -hmm. back and revisit that. You know, what were they looking for that maybe you failed yep. 
to perform on and who in your wheelhouse in your area who can you recommend might be able to Solve. Take that, yeah. Solve that issue for the client. If you connect them, if you you est- like guide them down that path and get them help over there, they're going to be grateful. At the end of the day, it, like it goes back to the fact that you're still going to be attributed with them finding that win at some point or the other, right? Yep. And yep. they don't have if you do that correctly, they don't have an ability to speak negatively about your business, your services, and so forth. Right. You've gone above and beyond any expectation, you know, to really show them how much you care. And th- nowadays. I mean, guys, think about customer service and business. I mean, in, Lacking. Oh, in the things that we they're supposed to be doing, they don't show up. You know what I mean? Businesses all the time. So to go above and beyond, especially in a realm where they you have nothing to earn or gain from them right now, that's going to go very far in their eyes. Yep. It's one of our core values, do the right thing. And so so listen, guys, put, put the, uh, I think, putting the lens on of putting the client's best interest first and over, even over revenue even over revenue that the, when when the money gets in the way that's where you yeah so you, you miss a line yeah yeah ch- it changes your judgment and your decision making and yeah 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 it's tough man as a business owner you, there has to be that dynamic we talk all the time right you can't you can't make the emotional decisions to run your entire business mm-hmm. uh and despite the logic right you have to make money this isn't a charity and as much as we'd love to do it your doors don't stay open and other people come looking for the revenue they yeah. you know they need so it, it, it's a balance it's a dynamic but at the end of the day yeah put your put your thought and your emotions or, or your your integrity around the best interest of the client and i think that'll take you a hell of a lot further very well we'll end on that go off and do good things folks Boom. all right guys that's it for this episode until next time keep changing lives we'll see you on the next one bye all right and thank you for listening to that episode of the built to grow podcast where we help gym owners win now do you want to connect with me and other gym owners online all you need to do is join our private facebook group business talk with fitness professionals just head on over to facebook and type in business talk with fitness professionals and when you do we're going to give you our 10 marketing strategies seven figure gym owners use to win i look forward to seeing you in the next episode until then keep building something great